There are so many tips and tricks for streamlining your editing process in Adobe Premiere Pro that we're always finding new ones to share with you. Here are five more time-saving tips for Adobe Premiere Pro. Many editors have their favorite keyboard shortcut, but mine has to be the tilde. Whatever window your mouse is hovered over becomes full screen when you tap the button, allowing you to see the window in better detail and get a bigger workspace for finer edits. Whether you're color correcting, audio mixing, or multicam editing, you may want to customize your workspace for the most efficient editing experience, increasing your productivity. You can drag around the windows, use one of the preset workspaces, undock and move panels, or even close panels altogether. But choose whichever window setup that best caters to your editing style, and you'll know exactly where everything is and save time and screen space. If there's a certain tool or function that you use all the time, but it's not already a shortcut, you can easily assign the function to a key command in the keyboard shortcuts window. Search for the function you want, push the key or keys you want to map it to, then click OK. You can also save that keyboard layout for future use. Many times your export settings will be exactly the same, but they can also vary wildly depending on the client. Either way, you should create a preset with your export settings to make them easier to access, especially when there are re-edits or slight adjustments needed. Premiere also has settings for various streaming platforms and social media networks that are easy to use. As far as Adobe Media Encoder goes, you can export multiple files from multiple sequences, as well as convert files and create watch folders that automatically get encoded as you choose. With Adobe Dynamic Linking, you can import and play back an After Effects composition in your Premiere Pro sequence in real time, which is incredibly helpful. You don't have to re-render graphics that aren't timed correctly, you can just create the dynamic link and edit them both at the same time. Right click on one or many clips in your timeline and select replace with After Effects composition. It'll open your files in a newly created composition in After Effects. Do your motion graphics work in After Effects and then check back in Premiere to make sure it looks correct. Then you can either export your Premiere project as is or you can render it from After Effects and replace the section in Premiere when it's final. If you need to reference the source file or use another part of a selected clip in your timeline elsewhere, you can bring up the source frame for any frame in your project by positioning the playhead where you want it in the timeline, selecting the track, and hitting the F key. It will open up in the source monitor with the playhead on that exact frame. You can also do this in reverse by selecting the frame in the source monitor and hitting Shift R it will send the sequence playhead down to that frame on the timeline. If you like this video and want to see part one, check out our YouTube channel or subscribe for more tutorials. You can also read the Pond5 blog for other filmmaking tips and tricks. And as always, head over to Pond5.com for millions of videos and other assets to use in your next project. <laughs>